Yeah, we're definitely there now. So this is what happens when you have a blip in the middle of it. Yeah, but I just wanted to, I don't to uh, cut these ones short. Hopefully it won't continue on filming. But anyway, look, what we have to do is we have to put another lighter tone up here in the background. And remember we had a brilliant blue, but I'm going to introduce the light permanent blue as well into it just to give it a bit of a lift you'll see what I mean it needs that extra light area I think in the background okay I'm gonna do that there so you know like you have that, that's your brilliant blue and which we already have there uh, that's on your list do you remember and then we're going to add the heavy bodied uh, light blue permanent to it which I've done a little bit of it there but we want a little bit more Remember here, where, where have I got it here? Your light, your brilliant blue is number five. Yeah, I was saying that's in the background, those dots, which you missed because it didn't film for some reason. I was sitting here foolishly thinking that it was actually filming me. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We didn't miss out on much. I explained about those dots. Now, there you go. That's a lighter tone. Just get it off the ferrule again. And we're just going to go over, go over them a little bit more up here at the top just to have a sort of uh, a difference between the lower part and the upper part of the painting. And it doesn't matter if you don't hit the already painted blue dots, it doesn't matter. These are going to be higgledy piggledy, you know, they're just lifting it again, just giving another tone to it before we reinforce our cobalt blues, okay? And you'll see the effect of it because it's... Uh, they're more concentrated at the top now as well with this application. And as you go down further, there's less um, less blue dots. So it gives a sense of distance. There, it's just a little technique you can, you can do, you can use in any painting again. You see the way it spread them out then more as we come down. We don't have them as congested as they are at the top. Okay, can you see that? Just one or two here like that, coming down into it. But, and you get that sense of this standing out more at the top. And we go in with more as well, you know, we don't have to um, hold ourselves to a certain number of them, although who's counting? Now, can you see the idea? Yeah, that's adding a lovely sense of light at the top. And then as it goes down towards the horizon, for the want of a better word, for this painting, it gets a bit darker. And we can see the effect of it and look it's all higgledy piggledy it's a wonderful little technique can you see it it's just adding another depth without doing much we still have the three blues we have the cobalt blue with the brilliant blue and then on top of that the light permanent blue but it lifts them out at the top okay just another little technique I wanted to show you before like I, I would normally maybe finish off the paintings with things and bits and pieces like this after I finish the video and then I put it up as you know in the whatsapp group but and then it's up to you sort of looking and say oh yeah so that's how he did that but now you know how i did that okay so what we're doing is then i just want to show you the lines because we just have to finish off these lines to make it stand out a bit more back to our cobalt okay our cobalt blue and going right over the foreground again we have to do them all to make them stand out okay because as i told you before the the nature of the cobalt blue is transparent regardless of whether it's heavy bodied or not or even if it's the basic acrylic color it doesn't matter even in the heavy bodied form it's still um, very transparent but we, you know this is the whole idea a painting is all about adding and subtracting adding and subtracting that's what I say nothing to do with mats though okay can you see the way it's building up now when this dries as well as all acrylic colors it holds the same for all of them when they dry they dry slightly deeper okay can you see the effect we're going up now I'm just giving this the last run for you there's nothing more that I can do really for you you just have to experiment yourselves go with it go with the flow see what happens if you don't have the colors just improvise or send me an email or ask me on whatsapp or on youtube or on my website and i'll try and help as regards to choosing other other colors okay 
gonna go do this one as well just to show you the final bit could be final bit or before I varnish you see I have a look at the painting then at a later stage when it's all dry and I'd say to myself yeah no do you know I'm gonna add some more yellow they're gonna change the shape of that but th this is just a demonstration painting I could change it before I actually sign it just to add a few that, that that's what painting is all about to add a few je ne sais quoi at the moment but when it's there in front of me, when I'm looking at it for a few days, I say, oh yeah, no, I think I'll do that, change that. That needs a bit more of a highlight. That means that needs less. And you're gonna learn all these things as well as you go along. But you're gonna basically get down, first of all, the basic idea of the painting. And then it's up to yourself. As you walk backwards and frontwards, <laughs> in front of your painting, the ease of walking up and down, I mean, in the sense that I, I would do a lot of that a lot of painting has to do with looking it's not painting it's actually looking at the painting sitting down take it, doing a few strokes sitting down again and saying looking at it for half an hour is that right you know and then going back again and saying no I'm going to change this okay basically that's it I can't do any more at this stage and hopefully you've enjoyed this if you do enjoy it Please uh, like it on, on YouTube and write a comment and share it. The more people that see it, the better. And we can say definitely that this is another homage to Vincent. A homage to, his, to the um, sunflower painting that he did with three sunflowers in it. And uh, it was lost, unfortunately, or destroyed during the war, I think. But you can check that out just in case I'm wrong, because there's a lot of facts in my head that are completely mixed up at this stage okay then see you soon we'll be moving on to a new painting soon and in the meantime if you have any ideas for what you want me to paint you know just drop me a line text me on the whatsapp group or on youtube okay there you go talk to you soon i really enjoyed that one especially because vincent is involved in it okay take care and keep creating